Today, I need a job. I'm unemployed. This is Park to Prem FM 23. And well, we've got down to the eighth tier of England loaded. This year, the plan is a one club save. It makes this episode all the more important today. We're going to set up the save game. We're going to find a job. Shall we run the intro? Then it's officially back. Park to Prem FM 23. It starts right now. Now, you might have noticed the Parts of Prem intro has changed a little bit on previous years. I lost all the project files, so blame editing, Jack, not me. It doesn't really feel like a Park to Prem video without the intro, but now we're all in the Park to Prem spirit. You can see in the background me going about setting up things. So the plan for this year is to do a one club save, starting down at the eighth tier of English football. And in terms of a start date, I've decided to holiday to the date that you're watching this video if you watch it the day it's going up in real life. So we're going to the 28th of November. It's a Monday. It'll be a beautiful day. Hopefully there's going to be some teams to manage. Now, of course, I already did a video last week talking about the database that I'm using and how I'm setting things up, but you can see a little bit of it in the background. The plan with this is that I've set up a manager profile. I'm then going to holiday forward, retire that manager, and then rejoin, recreate a manager on the 28th of November. That way we don't end up with any of those annoying days holidayed on your manager profile. Am I the only person who likes to wear the kind of zero days holidayed as a badge of honor in football manager? I'm not sure. Of course, we are starting with Sunday League past playing experience and absolutely no coaching badges. You can't really make a much worse manager than this. And before we get too far into things, worth outlining that today is all about finding a job, finding our forever home. Hopefully there's going to be a good club out there. Speaking of which... Shall we go see what jobs are available? If you're excited for the new series, if you're looking forward to more of this, make sure to like the video. Let's push this far and wide. In the age of modern YouTube, series that are over 100 episodes long don't really fit into the algorithm that well. So if the algorithm ultras out there, you guys can assemble, help feed it a little bit, that would be massively appreciated. And a little bit of extra news from me. Tomorrow, I've got new merch releasing. For the first time in years, we've got a new store being set up. It should be live tomorrow. More info in tomorrow's episode. Anyway, here we are in game. We've got my lovely manager face. And this is really the moment of truth. I need to find a job. I've not checked what jobs are available yet. We might be continuing forward for a little bit. This whole idea of starting on the 28th of November might be silly. Um, I can see lots of jobs here. I'm going to quickly filter out the ones that aren't that interesting to us. Funnily enough, football manager. Don't want to be assistant manager. Don't want to be a head of youth development. I should just untuck this, shouldn't I? And do that. That's quicker. I don't want to break any hearts. No international jobs for me. Not looking for an under-20s national team job either. Okay, so I filtered things down to the eight leagues that make up Tier 8 of England. You'd think between all of these different leagues, there would be a load of jobs. Instead, there's six. Now, I will say, a couple of teams here that caught my eye. The first, Kempston Rovers. Not really catching my eye for any reasons on the pitch, other than the fact, I think they've got a walnut on their badge. It's a great badge. I've done some research. Apparently, Kempston in England is known for its walnuts, and this team are called the Walnut Boys. So right now, they're 19th in the Southern League Division 1 Central. That is a name that rolls off the tongue. The only team they're ahead of, FC Romania. And I know what you're thinking. Does FC Romania have Romanians playing for them? Of course they do. So Kempston's media prediction was ninth. They're down in the relegation zone. We'll put them in the maybe pile for now. Finances are insecure. Bank balance, minus £25,000. That's quite a lot at this level. Another team that caught my interest a little bit is Faversham. Now, they have okay finances. I say okay, they have got a negative bank balance, but we'll ignore that for a little bit. And yeah, their facilities, youth facilities and youth recruitment are poor. That doesn't matter, though, does it? It kind of does matter. I mean, their badge, it's not got a walnut on it, but as a proud Englishman of sorts, um, it's got three lions on it. So it's basically like the England club team for all intents and purposes. Just doing some research about Faversham. They've played in this tier for over a decade and they were founded in 1884. So they are an old school football club. Clive Walker is the current caretaker manager. He's been at the club since 2011. I feel like this man deserves a shot at manager, to be honest. Now, right now, Faversham are down in the relegation zone, much like the Walnut team, whose name I've already left my mind, but we'll just call them the Walnut team, let's be honest. And you might have spotted it. They're ahead of the team that we played as last year in Park to Prem to kick off the series. 
in three bridges who are uh, sadly for us do currently have a manager i will say of the six teams there's one that stands out a little bit more than the others and it's this team guernsey now guernsey for the people outside the uk who probably don't know this it's a little island between france and england in fact guernsey itself i think is closer to the french coast than the english coast uh, editing jack pull up, pull up a map now, unlike every other team that has a job available, they actually have money in the bank. £98,000 in the bank balance is pretty good for this level. They have a 5,000 capacity stadium. I think around 700 of it is seater. Their media prediction was fourth, but right now they sit in 17th. They're in the drop zone. So far this season, they've got three wins in 16, and they kind of just stand out to me as an interesting project. Guernsey is in a bit of an obscure place in the world. They've got good finances, a really decent stadium. It looks like they've got a few good players, by which I mean the player that they've got as a key player, he's got a high quality photo. Does anyone else who uses face packs use the quality of the photos to determine how good the player might be? I mean, here is Carlos Canha, and yeah, he's a bit of a pace merchant, but at this level, all you need is pace and determination to be good in football manager. So Tony Vance, who's been their long-term manager, he's been at the club since 2011, which must be pretty close, I think, to when the team, yeah, were founded in 2011. So they've got rid of their manager who's been at the club forever. They sacked him two days ago, so we can definitely apply for this one and have a chance. I think the other team of all of these that I like the look of the most is Faversham. So I think we'll apply for the Faversham job, we'll apply for the Guernsey job, hopefully we get at least an interview with either of them. I hope I'm not being too ambitious with these being the teams I'm going to target. Okay, Faversham Town, we're going to apply for. Guernsey, I'm going to apply for as well. I, f I feel like the Guernsey one could be the job. Very often in Parks and Prem, I don't really have a preference, or at least a strong preference. I'm not going to try and hide it in this video. I'd quite like the Guernsey job. Ah, we're off to a strong start. I've applied for the Faversham job, and they're not going to consider it because they've finished interviewing for the manager job. Ray Leader, the chairman... You could have told me this before I got all my hopes up. Okay, Mark Letissier, who is the Guernsey chairman, has acknowledged my application, so at least that's one out of two. I probably should apply for another job just in case. Kempston Rovers, the Walnut team. You're my plan B now. Right, I'm going to hit continue a little bit here, see if we get a job interview, of course. Well, I was about to say, we'll keep an eye open for other jobs. Kempston Rovers have finished their interview process, but good news, Guernsey... Literally eight hours after I sent my application of offered me a job interview. I emailed them at midnight and at 8.50 in the morning, Mark Letizia, he sat down in his office. He's got comfy. He's seen my email and he's thought, that's the man for us. At least that's how I hope it's played out. Before I attend the interview, uh, got to do something. People say, but I don't take football manager seriously. I'm wearing a blazer to the interview. I've got to look my best for Mark. His name was Mark, right? Yeah, okay, it's Mark. I don't want to get the name wrong in the interview. The pressure's getting to me here. Okay, Mark, hit me with your questions. Oh, I can't... You know how people click their fingers? I'm trying not to hit my mic. I can't do that. It's great to be here, Mark. Let's get started. Are you willing to assure us that you'll do a better job of meeting expectations than your previous predecessor? Or potential predecessor? Not potential. I'm getting this job. Of course I'm going to do better. I'm going to achieve the goals. I mean, they were predicted to finish fourth. They're in the relegation zone. Worth acknowledging, we are in the lowest playable league I have active, which is tier eight. If we were to get relegated as Guernsey manager, the save game would be over with them because you just get fired for going below the playable leagues. We value longevity at this club and recent history shows we're prepared to give the right manager a long time to get it right. I mean, look, I'm setting out the stall here, everyone. This will be a one club save unless they sack me. I want to do Town or Town Mark 2. Everyone who watched the FM20 Park to Prem right now is pumping their fists. So yes, Mark, I'm going to have a long and successful career at this club. What makes me the ideal candidate to save the club who are unexpectedly struggling against relegation? Well, has he, has he not seen the bottom at Christmas save with Southampton? After this episode, if you're craving more football manager stuff and you've not watched the Southampton stuff, go watch that. Go watch me try and battle against relegation. I'm an expert. My reputation speaks for itself. As part of the recruitment process, we're willing to allow you to bring some backroom staff in. I'll be honest, I, I no budget. No, don't give me any budget, Mark. I just want the job. I don't have any friends. I don't have any staff members I'm going to bring in. It's just me. I'm a one-man band. Okay, this bit always has me a bit nervous. Club Vision. They want us to sign under 23s for the first team, work within the wage budget. They want us to reach the playoffs and then continue to aim to reach the playoffs. 
I have no idea what the playoffs are in this league. Top place team get an automatic promotion. Second to fifth get playoffs. So as long as we finish in the top five from next year onwards, we'll be fine. Seems good to me. If hired, we'd expect you to avoid relegation. I mean, they've got some money in the bank, right? Well, I think that's a fair target to aim for. How does a wage budget of zero pounds sound to you? I mean, I'll be honest. It's not great. I'm, I've heard you've got money. Um, can we have a slightly larger wage budget? I mean, I love the fact I have the option to ask for a smaller wage budget. Yeah, I'd like less than zero pounds, please. I'm going to ask for a little bit more money. This might completely backfire, but I think it's worth asking for. So a little bit more money, please, Mark. Do I have anything else to consider? I could ask for a new stadium. That feels premature. I'm just going to say I'm good, thanks. Right, Mark, please call me back. Guernsey's pretty much the only team that feels feasible. I like the idea of managing on a small island off the UK and getting them into the Premier League somehow. So, uh, yeah, give me a call back, Mark, please. Okay, interview done. Keep our fingers crossed. I'm taking off this blazer because I know it. You're all thinking it. I look ridiculous. Now we wait for an email back. Every time the game stops continuing forward and we get an inbox item, my heart skips a beat. I'm waiting for Mark to email me back. Grace Potts, my personal assistant, has told me the important dates in December. Um, there's nothing important in December. We're not even celebrating Christmas because I don't have a job. Also, how can I afford a personal assistant? I, I don't even have a boss right now. i got questions. Mark, please email me back. Mark, please, please email me back, Mark. Maybe I need to start looking at other jobs. I hope not. There's three emails in my inbox. Are any of these good news? Oh, I don't... No. Am I looking at the Stockport County job? No. Am I looking at the Hartlepool job? No, Lee. No, I'm not. I mean, I've only been a manager for five days and I'm pretty nervous right now. I'm going to need a plan B potentially. I hope I don't need a plan B. I mean, loads of people are sacking their managers, I guess because it's a Saturday. They've all just lost. The Swindon, to I mean, Swindon's not an option. Colville Town have sacked their manager. Um, I mean, they say don't judge a book by its cover, or in this case, don't judge a football club by its badge. Can we all agree that is like graphic design terrorism right there? That, that shouldn't be a thing. <sighs> okay, I have an email. And it's good news. Guernsey have approached me as manager. They've actually got a wage budget of 2.3 thousand, which is very good for it at this level. I did fear that asking for more wage budget might have backfired. They were offering me zero pounds. I'm wondering how much I'm actually going to have. They're offering me a seven month deal. You know what? I've got YouTube as a side gig. I don't need to be paid as much. I'll take 300 pounds for two years. I probably could have asked for more. When I sat down to record today, wasn't sure if we were going to have a job by the end of the episode. I was wondering if there was going to be a few different offers and there was going to be some kind of cliffhanger. There's none of that nonsense today. I have found my forever home. The Green Lions. Guernsey. How do I get to the, the matches? Do I have to move to Guernsey? Do I get a plane? Is there a boat? I... Not thought this through. I mean, look at that reputation. Half a star. We have no director of football. Our fierce rivals are Jersey Bulls. Of course, Jersey is the island next to Guernsey. I appreciate a bit confusing this. It's a very serious rivalry. Unfortunately, they play a tier below us. So poor expectations. They expect us to reach the playoffs. That cannot be for this year. They cannot be expecting me to reach the playoffs this year. We are in the relegation zone. We're in a relegation fight. I'll deal with all this stuff later. We'll, we'll do a press conference. We'll, we'll meet in every month. We don't need loads of meetings. I think we've only got like two staff members. Uh, I've just checked. We've got an assistant manager, Colin. Love Colin. Look at uh, 18 adaptability this man has. Tick attacker 5 3 2. We will not be playing that tactical style or formation, but love Colin. We have Chris Hampton, the goalkeeping coach with four in every goalkeeping category. We do have a physio. He has four physiotherapy. We're paying him £150 a week. He is stealing a living. And our last member of staff, our only scout, Phil Buxton. Six judging ability and potential. I mean, he's 34. He might have potential. He might be able to grow with the club. Now, we have 500 supporters with season tickets. That's actually a really good amount for this level. Of course, Guernsey being the only team that play on an island off the coast of England and then playing against teams in England, um, it means that 
we should have quite a hardcore following, I feel like. I say that. The core following is 40%. The hardcore is 17%. I can't wait to see the 5% of Fairweather fans go up. Is that just like French tourists that visit Guernsey on holiday? No idea. As for the season expectations, I've told the board we're going to avoid relegation. I am going to stick with that. And with that accepted, we have a £0 transfer budget, but our wage budget is actually 2.269, important funny number, £1,000 uh, a week. So we actually have just shy of, what, £800 there or thereabouts to spend on players. That's not insignificant for this level. I don't know about anyone else. I've got a pretty good feeling about Guernsey. I feel like this could be the team that we stick at through thick and thin. And like I said, I love the idea of taking this small kind of little island, town, city, place. What is Guernsey technically? I don't even know. But taking them to the big time. That is my dream for this series. I think for today, we're going to wrap things up now. Our first game of the season as manager is against the team in second. So it's a nice, easy start to the year. Next time out, tomorrow, midday, same time and place as today, we are going to be going through our squad, setting up a tactic, preparing, and then doing battle against Northwood. Hoping we can get off to a win. That, that would be nice. Like I mentioned earlier, if you are excited for this series, make sure to drop a like on things. Let me know what you think about this club that we've landed on. I think Guernsey's a pretty good fit for a Park to Prem club. I will be back again tomorrow, same time and place as today. I will see you guys then. Until then, take it easy. See you in 24 hours. Or I don't know, if you're watching this video in three months' time, you've got loads to binge watch on. Enjoy the binge. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> take it easy, folks. I'm out. I'm really bad at doing YouTube outros. I've been doing over 2,000 videos. Still not learnt. Still not learnt. <laughs>